What is up, guys? I'm here with probably one of my top 10 favorite people. No <laughs> joke. Um, I'm here with Shark. Bro, how did we even meet? Brandon, man, how did we meet? I think, um, dude, I've been following you and your content and your journey for some time. Yeah. It's been an absolute blessing, and I saw your testimony, and honestly, it just it just reached me. And so I think I literally slid into your DMs. No way. And I was like, man, I would love to see what you're doing. And I eventually got into your mentorship program, and from there, our friendship has just blossomed. It's yeah. just blossomed. Dude, so where were you at? Um, in that season, because I heard some of your testimony last night. We're here at a men's retreat uh, right now, yeah. uh, about 16 Christian business owners. And um, yeah, you're just sharing some of your story. So dude, talk to me about where you're at in business and in life. Yeah, so the business was essentially my life at that point. You know, I was, I was really in that, that season of just committing myself and really trying to grind something out yeah. and make something for myself. So I actually, I had a construction slash concrete contractor coaching program, which Let's is go. a whole new story Dude, that's in, in itself. Right but we were just stuck, you know, um, we were just stuck with all the metrics of our acquisition costs were through the roof. We just didn't have like solid basis. And so I saw that you helped coaches scale, yeah. um, specifically faith-driven coaches. And I thought that was one of the, you know, a mission I can get behind. And so, you know, our business was doing well. We were doing 30 to 40K a month. Yeah. We just had our best month yet. And we were looking, you know, how do we take this next step? You know, what did it look like? And I yeah. saw what you were doing with the growth funnel. Mm -hmm. And me and my partner had two popping Instagrams, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. But we weren't getting any clients through them. Not as many as we should have. Yeah. And so, um, you know, I wanted to join your program. And, you know, the first month in your program, man, was life-changing. You got us to 75K that next month. No way. Yeah, I joined August 1st, I believe. I didn't even know that. Yeah. That's crazy. Really? Yeah. So I joined August 1st. August 31st, we had my first 75K month. Yeah. And that was actually a huge milestone for me because I quit my corporate job to do this. Wow. And my corporate cybersecurity salary yeah. was 75K a year. Wow. And so making that in a month shattered all of my limiting beliefs yep. about who I am, what I can make, how much influence I can have, and it's just been ramping up since there. Yeah, yeah. dude, 100%. What are you guys doing now? Okay, so fast forward, yeah, to today. Fast forward, I've exited that company. Um, right now, I'm actually doing two things. So I'm actually exiting a real estate agency yeah. that does about a quarter mil a month, 250k a month, and, and we use a lot use of your the, the growth funnel for that. Yeah, we use a lot of your <laughs> strategies, man. A Dude, lot that's of what I try and tell people. It's like all these people running ads. Hey, if you're an online coach, agency owner, I tell people, dude, if you'll take the growth funnel and apply it to a niche that has money, you'll make so much more. You'll make a killing. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm convinced that any agency or even brick and mortar small business can growth funnel their their stuff. So oh, yeah. any entrepreneur, it's it's one of the best ways I've seen to create a personal brand. Mm -hmm. And if you can become, they call it like this micro niche authority in your yep. space, yep. you can dominate. Yeah. And you have, I mean, you have your face brand, you have the value that you're providing, and yeah. you can get so many clients so fast. Yeah. And it's just like a new method of marketing that I think is, I mean, we've seen. Yeah. All the testimonials you'll have, dude, it's it's a proven method. I love it. Yeah, I absolutely love it. It's nuts. And now you're doing a coaching program. Yeah, too. so so now I'm entering what I call my forever play, right? Which is the Gladiator coaching program, which mm -hmm. was basically the same way that I've broken free of my corporate job that was soul sucking, draining, just an absolutely miserable experience for me. Mm -hmm. And it was the American dream, right? Get a corporate job, I have a master's degree that I don't even use. A whole new story. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. I have a master's of science in cybersecurity management. Wow. Crazy. That's crazy. But I was in this corporate, the golden handcuffs and I was just treated so poorly. Um, I was treated like an intern the entire time. Mm. Um, nobody was using my real talents and so now I want to help guys break out of that. You know, if they're in a, a nine to five that is unfulfilling, soul draining, um, how they break free with an online lead generation business. Yeah. And it's just that simple. Dude, and so I'm calling incredible. it the Gladiator program and we're building it this year. Yeah, bro. So obviously you're from Texas. You kind of go back and forth from Dallas to Miami. Yeah. And dude, tell people what you told us last night. Like, dude, I would love for everyone listening just to hear some of your story, just in regards to the Lord, how you even became a Christian and how that's played an impact on being a business owner too. Yeah, so I mean, my faith has been everything. Um, it's I've always felt my entire life that there was this God-sized hole in my heart and I have not once found anything that filled it until I really came to faith. But I grew up in a Muslim household. Um, you know, like many people my age, religion was just forced down my throat. Yeah. It was absolutely forced down my throat. And the more I studied Islam, and it's an amazing, beautiful religion, honestly, um, Prophet Isa in Islam, in the Quran, is also Jesus Christ, the same person. And so the more I studied Islam, the more I was led to study this person, Prophet Isa, and I was so intrigued by his actions, even in Islam. And I was like, this guy's this guy's amazing, this is a hero. I love this guy. And so I thought to myself, what's the best way to study this guy? Who is this guy? Who is Jesus? Yeah. That was the question that kept coming up. Like, what, what did he actually do? Like, did he exist? Yes. So what did he actually do, if he was real, right? 
And that led me to the Bible. And the more I read the Bible, it was a very personal journey of faith for me. The more I read the Bible, the more I was like, I love this. My heart was moved immediately. It felt like that God-sized hole in my heart, honestly, was filled. Wow. You know, I felt like I was finally understood, almost. Like, all my struggles suddenly had a system and a methodology behind it. Yeah. And just, I would always walk around when I first came to Christ. I remember I used to, like, have this, like, vision almost every day that I was walking around with this golden cross behind me, and I was carrying my own cross, and all of these struggles and trauma that I'd gone through mm -hmm. finally made sense. Wow. And it was no longer why me, but it was like, how can I be used? How me, yeah. how me can be yeah. extrapolated into this world? Dude, that's powerful. And yeah, um, my friend Hunter and I, we basically just said one day, like, dude, we should have 12 Christian business owners fly in, drive in, and we rented this Airbnb. Uh, turns out there was a few more beds, so I think there's like 18 guys here. I FaceTimed you last night. I was like, <laughs> yeah. dude, you have to come. Um, and that's dude, Talk to us about what did God do in you last night? Yeah. Because last night, for those of you who weren't here, we spent some time in prayer, uh, just really whiteboarding and just getting ourselves postured to receive from the Lord. And um, yeah, I know last night was special for you, so talk about that. Last night was so special for me. Um, wow, I don't even know where to begin, but I just had a 10K day in the agency. Today? Um, last night. Oh, last night. Yeah. Oh. So it felt normal. I mean, nothing crazy about it, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, it was a great achievement, but yeah. I, it was 6 p.m. and I was sitting on my couch. It was pitch black in my room and I was eating canes. And I was sitting there and I was like, what do I do? Like, what am I missing? Yeah. And the answer was community, obviously. Wow. But I got a FaceTime from Evan and you were on that FaceTime. Mm -hmm. And you guys were like, dude, get over here. And I almost like didn't take it seriously. I was like, haha, yeah, it'd be cool to pull up. But you guys were like, no, like you should, you should come, Shark. Yeah. And I, Brandon, I have never gotten ready for something so fast in my life. I packed nothing. <laughs> you got here quick. I borrowed right? swim shorts to get in the hot yeah. tub with all the guys. Wow. Because I wanted to come here and I was like, that, that is a God-given sign. Like me feel, feeling un, so unfulfilled in that moment and then coming here and then having an experience of somebody actually praying for me for the first time. You know, Hunter putting his hand on my heart and saying, you know, I pray that all these addictions and vices that you've been struggling with will leave you. Yeah. It just felt, it was surreal. It was such like an emotional roller coaster of me being like almost depressed on my couch yeah. to being in this community of just faith-driven men. It's, it was beautiful, yeah. it was beautiful. No, that's, that's incredible, bro. What do you feel like is your long-term play? Yeah. Because like, we're here yeah. praying to get vision for the Lord from the Lord and um, has he spoken anything to you? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Um, I, I've been convinced for some time that there is there are people in this world that only you can reach, and there's people in this world that only I can reach. Yeah. And I am completely convicted that God wants me to be somebody who reaches people just like me. Yeah. You know, in all of the areas I've struggled with, converting faith, being in a, I was a fraternity president, that was a whole season of my life. No way. Yeah, I was a fraternity yeah. president, and it's something that I'm glad I experienced, but it taught me exactly what I should not be doing in my yeah. life. <laughs> exactly that. Yeah. Um, but there's, there's a whole like arena of guys who are stuck who are trying to break free. And that's actually where I got the name of the Gladiator program, yeah. because we're guys who are faith-driven, who want to break free mm. in the arenas of life, whatever that may be. Mm. And that's kind of what really resonated with me. Wow. And so my, my forever play, you know, we say we speak our goals in terms of forever. Um, my forever play is that Gladiator program and just getting as many people into my program, helping them break free online so that they can come to things like this. They can enjoy these seasons of community and God-given mm. worship and just fun and joy with all the guys. Yeah. And, Dude, it's, I love it's that. what I'm passionate about. Yeah, like I was praying earlier, we took some time to journal um, and just spend about an hour alone with God. And I, wow. I was just, Lord, like, use this pen to like speak to me. Like just, I'll write down what you're saying. And very similar to you, like I felt like he told me, inspire my children or my sons really to pursue their God dream. And I know like that's been the, the phrasing that I've heard for so long. Um, we've got some exciting thing come, like things in store and coming in regards to God dream, but I believe everyone out there has a dream on their heart from God. And I think one of the best groups of people to serve and that is kingdom entrepreneurs. And, yeah. and that's just really where I'm passionate about. And I think it's crazy how with money you can get busy. So from going from 75K a year to first month in the program, I didn't even know that, 75K a month to now where you're at now, have you experienced uh, any changes just with how you view money? Yeah, 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 absolutely. So it's a concept, it's in the book, 10X is easier than 2X, phenomenal read. 
Um, but money and wealth are two completely different things. Yeah. You know, and money is just a tool to acquire wealth. And what is wealth? Mm -hmm. Wealth are the things that you just want in life. Yeah. So I want a community of amazing friends around me. I want you know a strong family. I want a really successful and experienced life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's things that money will help you achieve in that, right? Yeah. But money is just a number to get there. You know, like we can, yeah. we can move to the Philippines with a thousand bucks in our pockets and live like kings. Yeah. And have the same experience, and that's true wealth. Yeah. And, and dude, so, I would almost encourage people to stop chasing the money. It's yeah. And the numbers. The numbers. Right. Because it's crazy. I, I love how you were talking about. You had the 10k day, probably a great month, and you're sitting there eating canes in the dark, thinking, I just wish I had community. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, so money isn't all like, that people think it is. It's just options. And that was the same feeling I had when I was 30K in debt, 35K in debt, yeah. and when I'm not. Yeah. When I've been killing it this last you know, mm -hmm. four or five months. Yeah. Same feeling, I was sitting there eating canes thinking, yeah. I'm still missing something. Yeah, and the whole point of this whole time together, um, one of the guys here at the trip, uh, their business is run fully on Instagram, yeah. and their Instagram got suspended, and um, he said something so powerful, he's like, dude, I don't even care at this point if I lose it all because I know who my source is. And ultimately, I feel like what God's doing in this trip specifically in person with people who are hungry for God is, we're like, okay, I'm not my provider. He is, right? He is. So, yeah, dude, any like closing thoughts that you would say to anyone listening just to really encourage them? Yeah, I would love to, man. Um, and I got some questions for you too as well. Yeah, yeah, so, go for it. But one of the things I just wanted, like if you take one thing away from this, like the one thing that, you know, Shark said that, right? Um, you know, God wakes you up for a reason. And you know, some days you're not gonna know what that reason is. It's gonna make absolutely no sense. But you keep saying this word of being expectant. Mm. Wake up knowing that God woke you up for a reason and just expect those blessings to come at you every day. You know, there was a time in my life where I didn't, I didn't care if I woke up or not. You know, this was February last year. And um, the only thing that really kept me going was just this one, I don't know if it was a verse or just a saying that I heard, but it was God woke you up for a reason, Shark. And if you don't find that reason, yeah, I'll find it tomorrow or something. I don't know, but I kept searching for it, and yeah. that was the one thing. You know, God is waking people up for a reason. Remember that every single day. Yeah, and make the most out of it. Today matters. It yeah. really does. I love that. Yeah, so good, bro. So, a question for you. Yeah. So you've been serving Kingdom Entrepreneurs for two years now. More. Yeah. Uh, about two years. About yeah. two years. When did you realize this is what you wanted to do, dude? So I started Kingdom Coach, which was. Uh, basically, the message was, hey, are you a Christian, coach, consultant, or want to become one? Turn your passion, skill set into an online coaching business. Um, and, it, dude, it really took off. Like, we were the first ones to do the follower ads that branded the IG Growth Funnel. The IG Growth uh, Funnel, baby. And the reason it worked so well so quick was the niche was just perfect. Um, and then I felt like the Lord told me to open up the niche. So we changed the name of the program to Start and Scale. Um, and dude, like there's been people get saved and it's been awesome, but I do feel a special place in my heart after really this trip um, to, to build back some type of offer specifically to give people like you community. Like I don't want another shark out there in their room who just had a 10K day, they're crushing it in business, or maybe they're starting their business and they're just lonely it's miserable. and they want God to move because I truly believe God built my business. Right? I can truly say that with 100% conviction. And I want other people to have that community. So I would say really now, I just discovered it this week to, at the trip. Yeah. Which is really what I'm praying for more people to do because we're gonna be doing more of these. Um, just getting people of the same faith that are in business together. But yeah. I love that. And then I have a follow-up question. This is, this is kind of more selfish and towards me, right? So at what point did you feel I mean, you may have never felt it, but what point did you feel comfortable being a leader of fellow Christian men? And I'm asking that because I'm trying to run the Gladiator program, and there's going to be a point where I'm going to be leading hopefully hundreds, if not thousands of men. Yeah. And what helps you with your conviction in doing that? Or when did you feel ready to do that? Kind of break that down for me. Dude, I don't know if you'll ever feel ready okay. for anything. Yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah like, when are you ready to make your first 100K month? I did not feel ready. It just happens. Uh, when are you ready to hire your first you know, sales rep? I didn't feel ready. When are you ready to preach your first sermon? I didn't feel ready. So I would say whenever you can genuinely put your head on your pillow at night and say, God, I gave it my all, right? I would say you're close. And then two, if your heart is moldable, vulnerable uh, before the Lord. And then three, 
if you're authentic. So yeah. don't, just because you're leading Christians, don't, uh, or faith-driven men, don't act like you're perfect. Yeah. Be authentic. Guys, I was in my room last night eating Cane's chicken, and I just need community right now. Do you guys want to get together and pray? That's a leader, That's right? Amazing. So, um, and then and just pushing them to pursue God. That's all you're there for. If you can get them to pursue God, they'll get where they're supposed to go. Absolutely. That's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, yeah, thanks for answering that. That's Dude, great. you know one of the weirdest things about uh, being in person? So many people have told me that I'm totally different in person <laughs> yeah. uh, than on YouTube. Which, yeah. Uh, it's crazy. Yeah. I Did mean, you notice that? Yeah, you are a savage on some of the scale calls that we've done. <laughs> when you lay down like the, the methodologies and what people are doing wrong, it's yeah. like this guy's like take notes and yeah, listen yeah but in person dude so down to earth yeah. so cool and calm and you bring people together in a beautiful way yeah. um and you just something about you this it's probably a really obvious answer but you just create like a really safe space mm-hmm. like i feel like all the guys here have been their authentic selves and that's in large part because of you yeah you know no, i appreciate that bro and Definitely. really that's part of the reason i'm starting to do more content like this is yeah. just to Get away from the trainings, the teachings, and just have conversations. Yeah, that's where the real the real learning is, in my opinion. Yeah. It's like the, the hour long talks that we can just hash out ideas. It's been yeah, bro. So, yeah. dude, well, yeah. for anyone listening, watching, how can people find you if they want to learn more about what you do? Yeah, please. It's uh, on Instagram. It's Gladiator Shark. Just two words. Um, shark is a nickname of mine. My real name is Sharik. If you are curious, but Gladiator Shark. Um, and honestly, if you're if you're a faith driven man and you just feel like you're in a situation that is draining you or not utilizing any of your talents or you want just some more freedom to do the things in life that really matter, hit me up, hit my line. Um, I'll teach you the same skill set that I've scaled to now a quarter million a month with SMMA. And uh, I'd love to be your coach and your mentor and we can, you know, we can make you a gladiator and we win in the arena together. Um, that community aspect is something I never had and something I really want to build. So yeah. best way to reach me, gladiator shark baby. Let's go, Gladiator Shark. And we'll tag him down below. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this conversation, leave a comment, like down below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel or podcast, and we'll see everybody soon.